This is this is really big. This is huge. I don't even think y'all ready. Y'all might not be ready. Okay, you might be ready. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. I am Darla and you are tuned into The 30 Journey. Here we're on a faith and fulfilled journey through our 30s and I'm so happy you decided to join me for this video today. All right fam, so in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about three big, huge life lessons that I've learned in my 30s and on my 30 journey so far. These are very special because these are three of the biggest ones that I've learned before turning 35. And you guys know 35 is like a big milestone on your 30 journey. And I think it is so important to make sure that you are really, really still able to be a student. In this video, I wanna be so intentional about giving you guys these three keys that have kind of changed the game for me. And I really want you guys to continue to allow yourself to be open to learn because as you get older, you kind of start getting stuck in your ways a little bit. And you know, some people don't want to change. They don't want to grow. That's the furthest thing from what the 30 journey is about. So if you are one of those people who are just so stuck in your ways and you're not open to growing, this is not the channel or the place for you because this is the foundation of what the 30 journey is founded upon it is about growth it is about continuing to grow being open to growing and allowing yourself to continue to grow through the process so i hope you guys are ready because these probably are going to change your life i know they have honestly changed my life and i really want to share them with you guys so if you are interested please keep on watching all right fam so the first big lesson that i have learned whoo this is this is really big this is huge i don't even think y'all ready y'all might not be ready okay you might be ready okay so this first lesson that i learned is the princess is in another castle you can just go home uh, you can wrap it up right here don't do that because i got two more great big ones but that one right there the princess is in another castle. I know you're like, girl, what? I'm going to tell you exactly what I mean. So if you were anything like me, I used to love video games as a child. I used to love especially Super Mario Brothers. That was legit my game. I think there's some type of big correlation when it comes to video games and life. I'm looking into that, but honestly, there are certain things that you should pay attention to. But in Super Mario Brothers, if you've ever played this game, after you finish a board or after you finish a level, when you get to the end, it's like, it's great you made it this far, but guess what? The princess is in another castle. You did all of that work, you got to that point, you just finished that board and the princess is in another castle. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I used to be so frustrated playing Super Mario and I would get to this point where I would keep dying and finally I made it to this place and now you tell me the princess is in another castle. Really? I used to be like, forget you, forget Mario, forget Luigi, forget this princess. And I'm just being honest, that was just kind of how I was feeling. And sometimes in life, you feel like that as well. That imitates life so much because just when you think you got something figured out, there's another level. There is another level. It's interesting, like no matter where I get to in certain spaces in my life and certain aspects of my life, and I'm like, oh, I got this figured out. This is going good and this and that and the other. And it's not so much of me waiting for the ball to drop because I figured this, this little key out, but it is me understanding that there's always more to learn. There's always more to do. There's always more to learn. You gotta keep growing. Like you gotta keep growing through the process and understanding that there's so much more in this journey. And honestly, like I said, that is one of the biggest lessons that allows me to just stay focused and know that even though I may have completed this board and this level, there's more to go. And it's making you better. It's making you more equipped for what is ahead. And if you stop, if you give up, if you decide that you know what, this is where it ends for me, then your journey also ends in that space of growth as well. So that is honestly one of the biggest ones for me. Keep that in mind, y'all, that 
You never stop learning, you never stop growing. The princess is in another castle. So another big lesson I've learned on this journey thus far is stop trying to fix life today. So this is big for me because I'm the type of person that likes to have everything figured out right now. I don't want to go to sleep with this on my mind. I don't want to have to deal with this tomorrow. I want this fixed today. And that's not always going to be the end result of certain situations. You're not going to always be able to figure it out and fix it today. There are certain situations like with people and relationships and friendships and things that you have to work through. And I personally have learned that sometimes you're going to have to go through that season of you may not be able to talk to that person for a while or you may not be able to fix this problem for quite some time and you have to sit in it you have to grow through it you got to keep going no matter what and guess what that's okay and honestly I'm just such a person that I don't want to have to deal with a lot of conflict I don't like to deal with things that are going to bring my anxiety levels even higher this is one big lesson that I've learned is that God is not going to always give you the answers today and that is a hard pill for me to swallow too. I'm like, God, fam, yo, you could tell me what to do in this situation because this is taking a lot of time out of my life and I keep thinking about it and I keep, you know, playing it, replaying it over in my head and I just want this to be over. And you gotta know once again that you gotta grow through some things. Sometimes you have to go through development. Sometimes you have to go through a little bit of pruning. That is what a lot of us need. And it's unfortunate that a lot of us learn through difficulty, but that is, that's just life. And you have to understand that not getting those answers today is probably what's going to help in the development process of handling and tackling something further down the line. And you have to understand that that developmental process is so key and vital to you being able to take on what's at the next level. And freeing yourself of having to figure it all out today is really helpful as well. Understand that whatever it is that you're dealing with and that you're growing through, it's, it's a part of a bigger process. It's a part of a bigger plan. And also, it's not all about you, but also know that it's okay if you don't fix your life today. Continue growing through the process, continue enjoying the journey to understanding how to better live this life out and be okay with not fixing everything today. All right, fam, so the last big, 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 big lesson that I've learned in my 30s is don't think too far ahead. So living in the future, I believe, is like one of the biggest cornerstones of my anxiety. So one of you actually commented on one of my videos, I think it was about mental health and about anxiety, talking about how anxiety is more so of people living in the future and depression is more so of people who live in the past. And I honestly heard this prior to reading that comment, but it really did remind me about living too far ahead. It really does trigger my anxiety when I think too far ahead into certain situations because as I explained to you, I want to fix certain things right now. I don't want to have to deal with them two days from now, two weeks from now, two years from now. Like certain things have to go through their organic process of figuring themselves out. And because I'm just that type of you know person that really doesn't wanna deal with that and doesn't wanna really have to worry about fixing things that I want and feel like I can fix today, that is what triggers the anxiety and that allows me to think sometimes too far ahead into the future. And I really battle with this sometimes because I'm just like, well, I'm supposed to be optimistic about the things that I have ahead of me. I'm supposed to be planning and doing those things and that's the thing, you are. But the thing is, you're supposed to allow it to play out how it needs to play out as well. A perfect example of that is writing the vision, right? I definitely did that at the beginning of this year and I will tell you guys, it looks nothing like it is on paper. However, I do see things that are starting to manifest in a different way and I'm allowing that to be okay too. Because as much as I wanted it to look like something and I wanted it to be one thing, I'm allowing God and the organic process that it has to go through to be enough for me to say that's okay too. And living too far ahead brings on a lot of issues for a lot of people because your expectations can get so worked up and so wound up in certain things that you want to look a certain way. And when they don't, you get let down. You feel like, you know, 
why even bother? Trust me, always write the vision and make it plain. But always be open to allow God to do what he does best and make things appear how they need to appear and go how it is that they are going and ordained to, to go. And that's not easy for a lot of us. And I'm getting better at that, honestly, I really, really am. Because I just know I have to put the work in. I have to do what it is that I have to do right now that I'm being called to do and allow it to play out however it needs to play out. And that is why this is one truly big lesson for me to not think too far ahead and not go ahead of what God has for me and how he has it for me, because that means I'm not trusting him. That means I'm not trusting my process. I'm not trusting myself. And not thinking too far ahead gives me peace. And I tell y'all all the time, peace, y'all, I don't take that for granted at all. Because while wow, this world is just in turmoil and just so much chaos, to have peace in the midst of that, that's a blessing. That truly, truly is a blessing. But I'm learning that another key to life and another blessing is to stay present, stay in the now, stay here, enjoy where you are, allow yourself to continue, like I said, to make the plans, but enjoy the journey y'all enjoy the journey fam i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't hesitate on giving it a big thumbs up like i tell y'all all the time that always helps also if you are not subscribed to the 30 journey once again i always say this what are you waiting for like i don't get why you keep coming back because you know you keep coming back but that's all right though if you keep coming back and you keep enjoying what you see i'm gonna let you do that but some of y'all just need to go ahead and subscribe because getting ridiculous at this point as always fam remember to keep god first and to stay winning spiritually peace